In this presentation, we will be discussing about various legal issues which can arise when one practices telemedicine. In India, till now, there have been no guidelines or legislations on the practice of telemedicine via video, phone, internet-based platforms. Since 2020, there have been new rules uh, provided by the government of India which one needs to understand and practice according to them. So, RMPs, that is registered medical practitioners who use telemedicine, shall uphold the same professional and ethical norms and standards as applicable to traditional in-person care. Every practitioner will have a situation where there might be a need for emergency consult for immediate assistance. In, in such a case, if alternative care is not present, teleconsultation might be the only way to provide timely care. But it should be avoided for emergency care when in-person care is available and telemedicine consultation should be limited to first aid life-saving measures only. The professional judgment of a registered medical practitioner should be the guiding principle for all telemedicine consultations. An RMP is well positioned to decide whether a technology-based consultation is sufficient or an in-person review is needed. The practitioner should not compromise on the quality of care and telemedicine should be appropriate and sufficient as per context, depending upon the complexity of the patient's health condition. For example, every patient is different. A patient may present with a simple complaint such as a headache, while a known patient of diabetes may consult for follow-up. The RMP shall uphold the same standard of care as in an in-person consultation but within the intrinsic limits of telemedicine. He, should consider, he or she should consider all the modes and technologies available and the adequacy for diagnosis before choosing one. The practitioner should begin the consultation by informing the patient about his or her name and qualifications. He or she should verify and confirm the patient's identity prior to the consultation. For issuing a prescription, the RMP needs to explicitly ask the age of the patient and if there is any doubt, seek proof. And he, every practitioner shall display his or her registration number according to him by the state medical council. The mode of telemedicine may differ from a patient to patient. In a certain situation, the practitioner might require the patient to speak and in order to listen to that, he might go through an audio call. And if he has to look at the patient, he might have to choose a video call. Considering the situation using his or her best judgment, an RMP may decide the best technology to use to diagnose and treat the patient. Patient consent is necessary for any telemedicine consultation. The consent can be implied or explicit. A practitioner requires more information to arrive at a final diagnosis. If the RMP feels that the information received from the patient is inadequate, then he or she can request for additional information from the patient. If a physical examination is critical information for consultation, RMP should not proceed until a physical examination can be arranged through an in-person consult. Medical ethics, including professional norms for protecting patient privacy and confidentiality, shall be binding and must be upheld and practiced. A practitioner will not be held responsible for breach of confidentiality if there is evidence to believe that the privacy and confidentiality has been compromised by a technology breach. All actions that willfully compromise patient care or privacy and confidentiality are explicitly not permissible. For example, insisting on telemedicine when the patient is willing to travel to a facility for an in-person consultation. These are many examples which can be seen there. An RMP is well positioned to decide whether a technology-based consultation is sufficient or not. The practitioner shall exercise proper discretion and the patient has a right to choose to continue or discontinue the teleconsultation and the same applies for the doctor too. The RMP can choose not to proceed with the consultation at any time.